Hi, in this video we'll talk about estimation in physics. You may not understand that why do we need to do estimation in physics where we have usually established equation to help us to do different things. Uh, in fact, when we try to explore new things and there are times where we may not be able to measure things directly. So using estimation can help us to predict uh, at least in the order of magnitude, so that is 10 to the power of how many. For example, in uh, astronomy, uh, there's no way that we can go and measure the mass of a planet so or the radius of a planet. So uh, using estimation it can actually help us to roughly get the idea of how much uh, it is in terms of order of magnitude. As long as this is correct in the order of magnitude, uh, to be honest, for physicists, we are quite happy about it already. Similar question may arise in those uh, university interview, especially if you're applying for, say, Cambridge, Oxford for its physics degree or some other prestigious university as well. So uh, knowing how to think logically to deduce um, the calculation uh, will be way, way more important than knowing a certain answer. This is what we are looking for uh, in physics for the analytical skills. Without further ado, let's try the first example together. This is a classic problem back to the Aristotle time. They were thinking about how many grains of sand would be needed to fill up the whole volume of the earth. So you have got the radius of the earth already, which obviously you can use um, the volume of a sphere, which is a wrong assumption. I mean, it's an assumption, uh, which is good to use enough. Uh, so 4 over 3 pi out cube will be the volume of the earth and uh, afterwards you still need to know for say one grain of sand how big it is so in terms of the size you may say that uh, one millimeter is roughly the size of the grain of sand so in that case that means it is about 10 to the power of negative 3 meter for its length and so for volume of a grain of sand it will be cube for the whole thing so let me just cube here and so that means it is one milliliter cube and that is 10 to the power of negative 9 meter for one grain of sand so at the end what you can do obviously is just like a normal simple math question for this one then it will be uh, simply the volume of the earth 6 times 10 to the power of 6 cube divide 10 to the power of negative 9 sorry negative 9 and so you just have to use your calculator to find out the answer so from your calculator you should find the answer as 9.0 something times 10 to the power of 29 if you like to you can also run it up to roughly 10 to the power of 30 as well it's really up to you all right so for the next one i would like you to try it out yourself so pause the video try to do the calculation and we will check the answers together a few moments later all right so for this question you have to know roughly how long it is for the span of the hands so if you know about a person a giant in the history called da vinci uh, and if you have seen this picture drawn by him then you should have an idea that he proposed the height of a person is roughly the same as uh, the length from one hand to another hand when you extend it just like the photo here all right so the rest will be quite simple you just have to find out how long you can get with all the people holding the hand first so uh, as i said it will be around the average height for the hand-to-hand -hand span so that will be 1.7 in my opinion uh, meter uh, actually i did google and it's actually 1.63 so i guess 1.7 is good enough and as for number of population quite many people still commonly believe it is six billion for some reason because uh, when I read the news people always said that but then in fact 6 billion is the number in 2000 year so now it's 2020 so the uh, number actually has been increased to 7 point something already so uh, let's just take it as 7 so billion as in 10 to the power of 9 and so that will be the total length that you have so divide by the distance that you have to cover which is the circumference of the earth assuming the earth is a perfect sphere then we can use 2 pi r all right so the r actually i mean i just write down directly 6 times 10 to the power of 6 
So in this case, you can do the estimation by yourself. So if you use your calculator, you'll find out it's roughly 315.65 something, right? So it's around 3 times 10 to the power of 2, uh, many, that many times uh, around the Earth. Uh, however, I would like to tell you another approach that may be asked in the exam as well. Uh, remember in MC paper of IB exam, you are not allowed to use calculator. So uh, the reason behind it is other than uh, people may, I don't know, using the uh, calculator to do memorize something, I don't know, uh, storing some data inside. Uh, other than that, uh, more importantly is about we also want to evaluate your skills in making estimation, really estimation without calculator. So what you can do with it is uh, you may have this uh, equation listed and you can think about how you can do estimation. So for example, uh, as for these two number, you may get seven plus five, so about 12 actually, this is about 12. And then this and this would be able to cancel out, uh, become six, so this six and this six will cancel out. And then uh, the 10 to the power will cancel out and this will have three left. So this is about uh, 10 to the power of three divided by pi. So pi is 3.14, right? So about divided by three. So I guess the answer 10 divided by three is roughly three point something, right? So also three point something. So I guess this will also lead to our calculation answer as well. So now I would like you to try a few more questions. So please do question four, question seven, and also at the very end, question 22 by yourself. Pause the video, really do calculate them by yourself first, and we'll go through it together. 2,000 years later. Okay, so for the first question, it's asking you about the heartbeat. Uh, in your lifetime so assuming you have 75 years of uh, lifespan so as I know for the habits I learned in biology depending on where, where you are doing sports or you are just sitting like what I'm doing or obviously that affect your heartbeat so for taking a rest the heartbeat may vary De again depending on your health situation as well it could be ranging from I guess 60 to 80 and while you are doing exercise it will be uh, it can go up to 140 or something right depending on your age so i guess i will take more like in between guys i guess no one will be doing exercise throughout your whole life so uh it won't make sense if i take like 140 or 120 so i guess uh, most of the time because you also sleep right uh, then i guess i will take it as 80 i think 80 is actually pretty good already so i would say 80 and the unit of this is talking about how many bits per minute right so since this is in minutes, I want to multiply 60, so now it's in hour, and times uh, 24 will be in days, and then times 365 will be in years, and 75 years, so 75. So that is pretty much all of it. So now what you have to do is just to do the estimation. So what I would say is, I would say... Uh, you can pair up some of them, maybe. I will make, I will treat this as 25 uh, and treat this as 350, maybe. And then uh, if you put 80 and 25 together, you should get, because 4 times 25 is 100, right? So that means it's 100 times 20. So that means 2000 for this. Between, between these two, it will be 2000. And then for uh, 60 and 75, because uh, 2 times 75 will be 150, and so times 30, so that means it's 45,000, right? And then, uh, and then with uh, 350, and so you just have to multiply them all together. So maybe I would do uh, 2,000 and 4,500 first, that will be 90 with one two three four five five zero one two three four five zero and then times this one again so uh, I guess I can take this as like one so one two three four five six seven so three five seven zero eight nine so 
Okay, I think that's how I'll do. 3.5 times 10 to the power of 9. Alright, and I also press the calculator as well. And I am very happy because you can see, um, well, it's not exactly 3.5, but then it is free to start with. And also the uh, order of magnitude is also 10 to the power of 9. So I think I'm, I'm happy with this as a physicist. <laughs> Alright, for the next question, uh, if you didn't study chemistry, sorry, you may not understand how to do it. The most important idea is something we call mole. We talk about in base SI unit. And so one mole, in case you don't know, there's a number called Avogadro constant, not avocado, Avogadro constant, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So um, you may not care about why that will be such a value for now, but then the basic idea is uh, if you go to say uh, buy flowers, if you want to buy 12 flowers, then that equals to one thousand right of flowers so this is the same idea one mole equal to that many and that's the end of the topic so what you have to do is just simply check the unit very carefully so what it means is here uh, it said there are 300 gram of water so what you can do is by looking at the unit it will help you a lot so think about this if you have 300 and you probably firstly want to find the number of mole first because you can't find the actual number directly so you want to find the mole first so what you can do is you can divide 18 gram per mole negative one because in that case you can look at the unit that g and g would cancel out and then you can make this unit like because you're dividing it so it become mole all right uh positive one here so that will lead you to have 300 divide 18 that is about uh, 16.67 well if I have to uh, use calculate I mean without calculator then I guess maybe I would I would take it as maybe 15 or something right by thinking that this is roughly uh, 20 then about about 15 okay so maybe I'll just do 15 then all right 50 more and so 50 more will equal to 15 times the Avogadro constant right that many of molecules uh, in the glass of water so then uh, I can actually multiply 15 with 6 then uh, obviously 2 times 15 is 30 so 30 times 3 is 90 so 90 times 10 to the power of 23 so I could actually claim I guess 90 is roughly close to 100 so I would say uh, 10 to the power of 25 instead and you know what if you use calculator to calculate it is almost the same <laughs> let's do the rest without the calculator as well so if you haven't done it yet pause the video and make sure you do it first okay so let's do the first one I would say for this fraction I will take it as 240 and well I should say equal all right so that will be um, eight simply as for B I will take it as three times two can I or we can take I mean because if you increase both I, it doesn't seem to be too fair so maybe I can say it is 2.5 maybe times two so that would get us uh, five in this case and as for this one, what I would do is wait. Isn't this you can you can do it already? Cost times that is three, right? Yeah, that is three already. So that is to say about three, actually you can do a calculation like on your own. So uh, nine three six simply. Okay, for part D, uh, what we can do is we can say this is nine obviously, and then I think we can do the rest. So. 7 and 7 is 49 and then x is here I guess we can say um, x and 9 almost and then we can make this with s50 right so um, that will equal to 50 again roughly equal uh, 50 times 10 to the power of 
9 minus 60 minus 6 Oh wait, this is... Oh, there's another 8 here Okay, so we have to divide by 8 again Ah, oh, terrible So, there will be 4, so not minus 4 So that will be uh, around 6, I think 6 So, 10 This is negative 10 this is negative 26 9 minus 26 will be negative uh, 17 okay I hope I hope that is right lastly for part E I guess what I would do is um, maybe I use another color alright so um, again here is a square so I think let's just divide I mean cancel all this alright so this will become only 10 to the power of 6 with the uh, square so I guess that is simply 10 to the power of 11 negative 11 plus 24 minus 12 alright so that would be 10 to the power of uh, minus 23 so yeah one only simply okay so I hope uh, my estimation will be similar to yours alright just to clarify once again uh, all the things that we are doing right now should only be applicable when you don't have a calculator that means during the MC paper so they will expect you to do that and also you got the option between A, B, C, D to choose and yeah, usually you, you can do uh, do it clearly like there's a clear answer you can choose from but for other papers well, obviously you still have to rely on your calculator to get the accurate number